Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to delete product category. So let's see how can we delete the product category. So first of all, uh, inside this uh, all categories table, let's add here a link for deleting the product category. Okay, so for that switch to the project and let's open the admin category component view file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views live wire admin and uh, from here let's open this one admin categories component dot play dot php file and inside this file inside this table after this edit link uh, let's add here another link so i write here anchor tag href and uh, also add the class text danger Okay, and then add here the text delete. Okay, and uh, also set some margin. So write here style margin margin left twenty pixel. Okay, now save this file and refresh the page. Now you can see here the delete link. All right. Now inside this view file, uh, let's add here a bootstrap model. So after this step, just write here model and also set the ID delete confirmation. Okay, and then uh, dot model dialog Okay, then model content And after this just add here the model body Okay, and also set the padding bottom pb and padding top 30 pixel okay so dash 30 and padding top 30 all right and inside this div just uh, add here the row then column md12 and now one more plus add here text center And then H4 tag and uh, add here the class padding bottom 3 pixel. Okay, and add here the text. Do you want to delete? this record okay and after this let's create here two button so right here button type is equal to button and class btn btn secondary All right, and uh, add here the text cancel. Okay, and also add here data dash bs dash toggle is equal to model and uh, data dash bs dash target is equal to this one. As sign just paste here the ID all right and now let's create another button button type is equal to button and class btn btn tensor 
correct and add here the text delete correct and now after this div let's add here at the rate push the scripts and uh, close here the push directive so right here in push and now inside this let's add here a script tag and then create a function function delete confirmation okay and pass one parameter id okay and now go to the admin categories component uh, class file okay so inside the app directory http live web admin and let's open this one admin categories component dot php file and inside this file uh, let's create here a property public dollar category id okay and now just copy this property name and inside this view file inside this method just write here dollar this dot set and just pass here the property name category id and set the value this one id and after this just to show this uh, delete confirmation model so for that just write here dollar okay as sign and now just copy this id delete confirmation and then dot model and pass here show okay now save this file and uh, let's check this so switch to the browser and refresh the page all right now let's click on delete Okay, it's not working. All right, inside this link, uh, first of all, just call this function. So let's copy this function name. And here inside this delete method and delete link, just add here on click and then call this method. Okay, and inside this method, just pass here. The category id category arrow id okay now save this file and refresh the page okay now let's click on delete link and you can see here the confirmation model okay if i click on cancel model closed okay and now let's uh, create here inside this view component view file create another function here for deleting the record okay so right here function and function name delete category and now uh, inside this class file let's create here a function for deleting the record so right here public function and function name delete category and now dollar category is equal to category colon colon find and find the category according to this property okay id so dollar this arrow category id and now then call here the delete delete method okay so write here category arrow delete and inside the session put the flash message flash message 
category has been deleted all right now let's copy this function name and save this file and go to the view file and inside this delete category function just call so right here at the rate this dot call and inside this just pass here the function name delete category okay this function name and uh, after this just hide this model so let's copy and paste here and pass here height okay and now uh, for displaying the success message so before this table let's add here at the rate if session has uh, success uh, sorry message uh, this one message then uh, first close here the if directive so write here in diff and display here the alert message so write here div class alert alert success and also set the role alert okay and now display here the message so inside the double curly bracket session colon colon get and pass here the key message all right now save this file and finally uh, let's call this delete category function from this button okay so inside this button just write here on click is equal to function name delete category okay now save this file now everything is done so let's check so switch to the browser and refresh the page okay now let's uh, delete any categories so i'm just going to delete this one so click here delete if i click on cancel it's save delete one more time click on delete and you can see here category has been deleted okay So in this way you can delete the product category. So that's all about uh, deleting the product category. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.